Before fitting the saddle height insert, you will need to establish the correct saddle height. Adjust the saddle so that when the pedal is at the bottom of the stroke and the heel of the shoe is on the pedal, your leg is straight. This means that when pedaling with the front of your foot, your leg will be slightly bent at maximum extension. Remember to use your usual cycling shoes at this stage. Set the saddle in a comfortable position. If in doubt, keep it neutrally placed. Mark the base of the post with a marker pen where it meets the seat slide tube. Raise the post to maximum extension and place the sleeve against the post upside down. Mark the groove adjacent to the height mark on the seat post. Cut the sleeve at the appropriate groove with a pair of scissors, taking care as you do so. Before removing the saddle from the post, mark the position of the pentaclip to ensure that you can refit it correctly. Remove the saddle and pentaclip from the post using a 5mm hex key. If there are any O-rings fitted to the post, these will also need removing. Ensure the seat post and seat sleeve are clean by spraying with disc brake cleaner. With the key orientated to line up with the slot in the seat tube, push the sleeve all the way into the frame. Refit the seat post and tighten the seat clamp. Refit the O-rings to the top of the seat post. Fit the saddle and pentaclip back onto the post, ensuring you have the correct position by using the pen markings on the pentaclip. Tighten the pentaclip to 15 newton meters using a suitable torque wrench and 5 mm hex bit. Once the saddle height insert has been installed, the saddle will be at the correct height when fully extended.